What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game, back with more A Found Lost Phone, playing the Nintendo Switch version. We found a secret folder inside the fake calculator app on Sam's phone, and <laughs> the icon is uh, said my life. Okay, so here we go. I finally got a new phone to replace the one that, w that got stolen. It works alright. But I've got mixed feelings about it. I lost... This was back in January, or December 1st. About it, I lost all, all I had on my old phone. Old pictures and messages. On the other hand, I like to think there's something meaning to losing it. Maybe it's the universe telling me, Come on, it's time to start a clean slate. Take your life into your own hands and start anew. Tomorrow there's a meeting for the support group for LGBT teens. Maybe I'll convince myself to go. December 2nd. I went to the support group meetings. I had to make up something for my mom to let me go. I told her I joined a book club. She was so excited about it that she made a cake for me to bring. <sighs> Sorry. Gosh, I'm uh, still sick. I went to the support group meeting. Uh, let's see. She made. It. She was so excited about it that she made me a cake for me for me to bring. She really does everything she can do to help make me to help me make new friends. Though, if she knew this, the, the kind of friends I made there, I'm not sure she'd be baking many cakes. Okay. December... December... No, wait. December 6th. Sorry. Board games meeting was great today, but Melissa was so annoying afterwards. She threw in yet another fit because of Alice. I have to say, it bothers me that she gets so jealous. On the other hand, I absolutely cannot have Melissa meet Alice. Alice thinks I'm Samira, but to Melissa, I'm Samuel. I'll always be Samuel to her. I have to tell Melissa one day, but for now, I just don't feel like I can do it. Plus, we've been together for three years. Whoa! Three years! And she probably thinks it's a, it's a together forever kind of deal. At, yeah, three at the third year mark, I would say so. I think you two are married practically at that point. Me too. I'm head over heels for her, but I know she wouldn't be okay with Samira. Thankfully, Melissa doesn't want to have sex before getting married. Okay, that's how you've kept that secret from her for so long. Because honestly, I really do not want her want to be naked in front of her for now. I don't feel comfortable enough with my body for that. Today, the support group people advise me to come out at least one person I trust. Out to at least one person I trust. I thought I could always uh, talk to Alice about it this Sunday... Uh, she thinks I'm a lesbian since I told her about Melissa. She probably wouldn't take it badly. Take it badly if I admitted to her I was born Samuel. December 13th. Okay, I think these, like, uh, the color of the paper has something to do with it. Like, purple is, I don't know, uh, white is, like, afraid. Blue is, like, sad. White, uh, red is, uh, angry. Or just really upsetting. I guess yellow is probably happy. We'll see. Alright, uh, December 13th. What a sh what an expletive day. I expected to come out to Alice today during our board games a uh, afternoon meetup. Not only did I not manage to do it, I also ended up withdrawing completely, stuck in my little shell. Lola, that stupid moron, told me she had to talk to me about something private. So apparently her boyfriend goes to the same school as me, and upon seeing his class photo... She recognized me, but like as Samuel, so obviously she asked questions. I tried to come up with something <coughs> like having a twin and the likes, but I ended up uh, splurting something. You mean, I think you mean blurting something. Feeling embarrassed. She told me I could not, I could tell her the truth, being all, you know, Samira, you can trust me with her teeny bopper voice. Turns out I told her everything. What a mistake. She took it the way too bad. She told me I was a monster. That she didn't want me to come and play with them ever again. I f just feel like dying. That's really sad. That's just... That's awful. Alright. Well, at least we know this one's better. Uh, December 18th. Tomorrow's Trans Pride. I'm so excited I can barely sleep. Let's see. Trans Pride was amazing. This is uh, the 20th. I just... Felt like I belonged for the first time in my life. No one no one to judge me. It was great. And Corvonia is such a sweet city. I'd love to live there rather than in Melrin. Seriously, Melrin is the most bigoted city in the world. I think we figured that out already. I'm pretty certain that half of the population doesn't even know what LGBT stands for. <laughs> 
It was my dad. Okay, uh, December 21st. It was my dad's birthday tonight. We had a cozy evening. It was only my parents and Melissa. It was just unpleasant. They talked about queer couples' rights to adoption. I don't. I didn't know my parents were sort of close. I didn't know my parents were sort of close-minded on the topic, and apparently so is Melissa. My dad is super homophobic. I'll never dare come out to him. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't blame you. December December 31st. What an expletive day. I broke up with Melissa. We know this. We are we were going to meet up tonight to celebrate the new year, just the two of us. I thought it was going to be a relaxed evening, that she was going to be tired because of the flight, but that didn't seem to be the case. Like at all, she even wanted to go out all, to go all out tonight to think... I think she always told me she wanted to wait until getting married. All of a sudden, she sent me a pic of, of the lingerie she was going to wear tonight. I suppose she felt threatened by Alice and thought it was a way to keep me around for longer. But, like, but like no way. I just, didn't, I just didn't feel like I could keep lying to her. But I couldn't tell her the truth either. January 6th. Melissa's mom called. Apparently she tried to commit suicide. Oh my god. Every time I play a freaking indie game, there's suicide involved in it. First it's Doki Doki. Now it's this. What the heck? Okay. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it. It's my fault. I was so expletive idiotic. I am the worst. I felt awful about hearing the news. I ended up calling Alice. I came clean. Told her everything. She was terrific. It really did me good to finally tell the truth but it doesn't change anything about the fact that i feel like crap because of melissa how could she do the how could she do this melissa told me i was toxic honestly i don't deserve i do not deserve to live january 11th i've been i've been contacted by loud note who are interested in my music i'm all joy and happiness she's louise 4 days later i don't deserve to live now i'm over the moon all right, January 17th. I signed up to a dating website. Alice, yeah, that's Lovebirds. Alice convinced me it was the best way to think about something other than Melissa. I'm not really sold. For starters, the website doesn't seem all open to homosexual or bisexual people. No way to check profiles for your own gender. I had to create two accounts to explore different profiles. I really wonder if this was a good idea. I don't even really know what I'm looking for. Okay, that's why, that explains why he had two profiles. I thought he was just a creep. <laughs> okay, I have. Okay, this is January 27th. I have had it. I don't know how this day could have gone any worse. First, I learned via Tio that our parents have been lying to us for years, not telling telling us my cousin Eric has joined a cult. What when actually he just got kicked out when he was when his parents discovered he was gay. Trying to come out in this effed up way up to a family is out of the question. The second terrible news of the day is that Alice is leaving Melrin. She just got in for a semester abroad, her dream university, and she's leaving very soon. That's what she wanted to tell us uh, at the movies. My one and only support in this city is leaving. I can't even bring myself to be happy for her, even though I know I should. January 29th. In two days, I'll be 18. I'm not a believer, but today I prayed for something to happen. I just want somebody to tell me, don't mind the others, erase them all from your life, don't keep anything from the present, leave your boy wardrobe in Melrin, throw away your phone, and leave to start a new somewhere else. Wow. Okay, here we go. January 31st. This is today. Or was today. There. Let's see. There. There. We just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five, for five minutes now. I don't have to rely on my parents anymore. I'm... We got a new email. Hold on, I got, I got, I got to read this again. Uh, crap, where was I? Uh, this is the calculator app? Okay. Ah, uh, God, what was that thing? Ah. Uh, see, it was uh, Cavonia eight five nine two two. There we go. Okay. There, we just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five years now. I don't have it around my parents anymore. I'm an adult. I wish I could say be... I could say a brave, independent adult... Per I wish... Yeah, I wish I could say a brave, independent adult person, but it's more like a trans adult stuck in Melrin. 
It seriously seems like if I stay one more day in this town, I'll do something wrong. Oh, boy. Okay, we just got an email. Let's see. Okay, so apparently he sent... Okay, this is... Okay, this is Sam sending an uh, email, I guess, from... A, okay, I mean... Okay, hey, Alice, I'm writing from the computer room of the Cavonia LGBT Center. So Sam made it to, to Cavonia. I just got there, and I'm planning to rebuild my life there. It's a decision I kind of made on a whim, but I really couldn't stand my life in Melrin. I was suffocating there, and you were really my only support. So when you told me you were leaving Melrin, I got so depressed. In truth, you're right. I attach too much importance to dates, and especially signs from fate. And I was waiting for a sign, just something, and guess what? My birthday present was a motorbike. Yeah, that was a nice motorbike, too. How can I not see a sign? How could, how could I not see it as a sign? Me looking for a way to leave? I said I was going for a ride, and I got away. I feel so relieved to be gone. I wanted to erase every trace of my old life where I couldn't recognize myself. So I threw away my phone without thinking. So, well, I can't call you. That was dumb. I'll mail you my new number. Promise. On the other hand, my phone wasn't locked, and anyone could find it. That really bothers me. I don't want people searching it. Those are all... Oh, boy. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Oopsie daisies! Those are only traces of, of an old life. An old me I can't even recognize anymore. Oh, and Alice already responded too. Okay. Hey, Sam. I'm glad you were able to gather your courage and leave to rebuild your life. Even if... Even if I'll be very far away from now on, you can still count on me when things go wrong. Don't worry about your phone. Most likely, someone will find it, erase all the data, and keep the phone for themselves. After all, it's still an almost brand new phone. If it's if it's someone with good intentions, they'll want to look around a bit. Uh, they'll want to look around a bit to return it to its owner. And when they look around, I'm sure they'll understand the reasons you left, and will decide to erase all your data to erase every trace of your escape. Wow. Okay. So that's it. That's what happened. Dang. I tell you, this game really hits you hard, though. Just looking at everything. Uh, this private life he was living for so long. I mean... And then just his old life kind of fell apart around him. I mean, I'm not sure if I would have handled that any differently or any better at the same time. Yeah, wow. Alright. Time to do the right thing. Do you really want to erase all the data on this phone? Warning, this connection cannot be undone. Except. Thanks for playing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Accidental Queens. You made a hard-hitting game. I tell you, I'm not really big into indie games, but when I play one like this, I am so glad I did. Especially one with a really good story and a really good message like this. Well, not really a message. I, I'm not sure if there was a message. I, there was definitely a good story. Story basically being, messages be yourself. Be you. Whatever that is. Oh, and I got a phone call. Alright, I will take that phone call later on. But, that is gonna wrap things up for, uh, a, a, found, a normal lost phone. I don't think this was a normal lost phone at all. Well, then again, I guess, you know, any, I could imagine weirder lost phone games. I've seen a few of them are online already. But this was definitely one of the cooler ones, so... Definitely let me know... Yeah, I'll get back to you in a minute. Let me wrap this up. Let me know uh, if, if there are any other indie games you want me to play. Uh, that's going to wrap things up for this video and this series. I... Alright guys, that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, Tim Plays a Game. Let me know in the comment section if there are any other indie games coming out you want me to do. 
Uh, but until next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Games signing off. And have a good night.